Kenya is considered a low forest cover country as it has less than 10% of its total land area classified as forest. However, this will soon be a thing of the past if the latest report is to go by. Environment Cabinet Secretary Judy Wahungu during the 2016 African Ecosystem Services Partnership Conference announced that Kenya forest cover has increased from 6.9% in 2013 to 7.2% in 2016. As of today, our forest cover has increased from 6.9 three years ago to 7.2, 7 7.24% today. This also includes the Kenya Water Towers Management Program, which seeks to protect and preserve all the water towers in the country. Wakungu says the government has put in place measures to boost the forest cover within the next decade. Kenya has resolved to undertake restoration of 5.1 million hectares of degraded lands through tree-based restoration, including, of course, agroforestry. She called on Kenyans to conserve the ecosystem, saying destruction of the various ecosystems and natural resources could cause catastrophic effects, some of which have already been witnessed in the country. Meanwhile, Water and Irrigation Cabinet Secretary Eugene Omalwa has expressed concern over emerging fears of transboundary waters becoming a source of conflict. Speaking during the inaugural Kenya Water Week in Nairobi, Omalwa said reforms in the water services subsector will ensure formalization of service provision for all citizens in order to fulfill human rights, water supply and safe sanitation. To announce to you today that the Belgium government has just last Friday given its uh, green light to a new water supply project in the Mavoko area in this, yes. And it's going to benefit over 800,000 residents of Nakuru County. And uh, for anyone to politicize such a project or to derail it would really be doing a great injustice to the good people of Nakuru County as well as Kericho County who will also benefit uh, from this project. That we are on track in terms of uh, fulfilling our constitutional uh, obligations of ensuring access to water for all Kenyans. We are almost at 60 percent and we are going to ensure that by 2020 we are at 80 percent. The Kenya Water Week is the first of its kind in the country and has brought together all key national stakeholders and leading development partners and practitioners from around the world to deliberate on the water sector development agenda, strategies and implementation challenges. Brenda Kiplora reporting for Channel One News Hour.